In terms of floors, I mean, I'm sure you've seen a lot of uh, floor, floor cracks and also settlements. I mean, what caused the floor to crack or to settle, if you will? There's, there's a couple things. One is um, concrete is strong compression-wise pressing down on it. Mm -hmm. This is a good example of a close-up of a floor crack. Um, floor cracks crack happen because one is sometimes there's water underneath the floor and there's a lot of hydrostatic pressure during a heavy, heavy storm and it can pop. And I've heard it pop actually when I was talking to somebody on the mm -hmm. phone. They heard a big pop, they ran downstairs, and they had a crack. Does it sound like popcorn? It, it's <laughs> more like a bomb. <laughs> like a bomb. <laughs> uh, but why should a floor crack be repaired? One is you have, could have radon coming up through it. Mm -hmm. Two, if you put your hand there, you can feel coldness mm. coming up. Right. Um, three, the organic material breaking down mm -hmm. um, in the soils creates an odor that comes up for aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And five, when you go to sell the house, um, it can have a, a negative effect. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing you don't want to put in there is any masonry material. Mm -hmm. You want to have a material that's designed specifically for this that has strength and it has elasticity mm -hmm. because concrete does expand and contract. If you put masonry material in there, it's just going to pop out. So, uh